Welcome to the channel, so today we are unboxing and reviewing from AW on a match series 10, Kyle O'Reilly, so the rest of the wave below, Adam Cole, who is the one of all 5,000, Kenny Omega, Matt and Nick Jackson, Kyle O'Reilly, Adam Copeland and Brandon Cutland, which is the one of 3,000. This is based off the 29th of May, 2022, double or nothing. Let's get this figure out of the box and get him displayed and see what I thought so. So here's Carl Riley out the box. Very nice. He's got his tattoo on the side here. Still can't read it. So he's got his tattoo there. Articulation wise, very stiff in the arms, but double jointed nonetheless. Not pinless double jointed, but still double jointed nonetheless. Head sculpt over there. If I can keep this in frame, in, in frame, there we go. Articulation's okay on the torso, as AW figures are, removable parts. Leg goes up, leg goes down, leg goes up, leg goes down. Knees bend there, knees bend there. It's got his logos and everything on the knee pads there. It's got his stuff on the side. It's got his lace around the back. Very nicely detailed. I do like the gear itself. My main issue with the figure at the moment, uh, of course, you get the pair of fists, you get the pair of interchangeable hands, which are two Mike Holly hands, is there isn't enough meat on the bone for this to come out on its own. I think they should have chucked in maybe an extra head sculpt uh, and maybe a t shirt would have helped this figure out amazingly. Uh, main other complaints is the beard, it's way too orange. Uh, should have been a little bit lighter, not lighter, bit dark. Best way, sorry, I'm trying to figure out what to say in my mind here. Should be a little bit lighter, so it's softer, it feels less detailed. Should be a bit less there as well, as we will find out when I do the comparisons. So, I'm just going to do the comparisons in just a moment. We'll start off with uh, some WWE and then we'll compare them to every AW character person. Back in a moment. So, for his WWE comparisons, you've got the Elite, I believe this is 87, I could be wrong, it might be 87 or 79, somewhere around that range, Kyle O'Reilly and Bobby Fish, head sculpt, I do prefer the Mattel one, we'll say that now, so if you could do a head swap from to this head onto here, it would look a lot better, torso wise looks better on the AW, and then detail, I do prefer the camera gear, because you've got a whole tag team set there, but solo runs Kyle O'Reilly that gear looks like very well just do a AEW comparison and then I'll get into my final thoughts for your AEW fig comparison we've got here the Adam Cole Target exclusive where it's all red you've got the car already there and then you've got an Arrival Series 3 Orange Cassidy I think he's right height I think Tim and Orange are roughly the same height I think Adam Cole is a bit taller as well but Overall, I think the height price is good. The articulation is good. My only main issue is the lack of accessories. And it should have really came with another head sculpt. And the beard issue. Rather than that, looks fantastic. I'm just going over the other card of figure just to make sure there isn't any tattoos I'm missing or anything like that. If he's game tattoos, since of course this was based off 2022. Jeez, that's that long ago? Nearly two, a year and a bit for this figure to come out. Two years. But hey -oh. Skin tone's right as well. Just that beard is my main issue. Again, I, if you disagree, agree, let me know in the comments below. I'll give it an 8 out of 10. Uh, should I give it 8? Nah, nah. I'll give, I'll give it a 7 out of 10. If you had a beard, right beard colour, came with some bits and bobs, would have been better. But the figure itself is pretty good. If you agree, if you disagree, let me down in the comments below. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you and goodbye.